Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. So I think on the last two videos that I did with you guys, I showed you how to install uh, the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager. And then on the second video, I showed you how to create a baseline. Now, uh, on those two videos, I did mention that I'm going to show you guys how to use MDT on the mix. Because again, this, this was a video request. It, is, it still is a video request. Uh, but the whole point is to use local GPO packs within your MDT. So you want you want to deploy certain GPOs. GPO basically stands for Group Policy Objects within your deployment. So on the last video, when I showed you guys how to create a baseline, I created this uh, Windows 8 Domain Security because I'm going to be pushing it out. Uh, I'm going to be pushing out a Windows 8 32-bit for testing, uh, and everything that's in bold is what I changed. Okay. Uh, this is this is a quick 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 uh, sum up of, on the last video so there should be an annotation somewhere around this video that you can click on to how to install the SCM as well as how to create a baseline so once you do all the configurations you want to do a export of the GPO backup now this is the folder right here of my export so this content right here I'm just actually gonna copy it and I'm gonna transfer it to my MDT. So let me get into here. And I got a nice little transfer folder right there. And let's double check and make sure everything is there. Awesome. 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 Cool. Everything is there. So let's get into my MDT server. So this is my MDT server. I already got my deployment workbench up and running. I'm running MDT 2012. Uh, but you can actually do this with 2013 when it comes out. I don't know if you could do it with 2010. So for those that are still using 2010, check that out. Now, there are many new features of MDT, but one that I particularly like is the ability to apply GPO packs created using Security Compliance Manager. Right? That's pretty cool because you do it. You could do it during the the, uh, the deployment process. Uh, now, SCM is a great tool that allows you to create and manage group policy baselines in an easy-to-use interface. So you guys can check those two videos out. Now, these policies are then able to apply at a domain level or as a local GPO packs. MDT can now deploy these local GPO packs during deployment. MDT provides four D4 GPO packs for the following operating system that are applied by default during the deployment. Now these four are for Windows 7 SP1, Windows Vista SP2, Windows 2008 SP2, and Windows 8, uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 SP1. Now all packs are stored in the template folder. So I'm going to show you guys uh, where's the template folder. Now, Depending if you guys have been following my NDT stuff, my playlist, I have a lot of information that you guys can check out. And uh, especially one video on how to install MDT. And I place my deployment share in my C drive. So the template folder is actually located inside your deployment share. And I'm going to double click on that. And as you can see, I got the GPO packs. Now if you double click on it, it gives you four default ones. These are the ones that normally when you deploy something using 2012, these are the ones that are pushed out automatically during your deployment. Okay, so this is the location. Now, when you specify your own GPO pack, you must override the default GPO pack using the GPO path uh, variable in custom settings.ini file. So what do I mean? So when you drop your custom GPO in here, you need to go inside your custom INL, which I'm going to show you guys. So within your deployment workbench, you want to go into your main node, right click, and you want to go to properties. And you want to go to rules. And this is your custom INL file. Now, I haven't declared a GPO path, but I'm going I'm to declare one with you right now. So I'm going to do GPO path, pack actually, path and equal to whatever the name of the folder. Now, I haven't imported anything yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to minimize this. Now, if you don't want to apply any GPO packs, then task sequence step can be skipped by select setting the variable apply GPO pack to no in the custom settings.ini. So again, if you guys do not want these default GPOs to be pushed out again you go back into your properties go to rules 
and you're basically going to apply this variable within your uh, custom setting ini file. So what the stand what is, what is this? So th you're basically telling the deployment the deployment not to push these default ones. If you don't have it, if you don't have this right here declared inside your custom ini file, these will be pushed out automatically. Okay? But for this ex for this video, we don't want that. Okay? So I'm gonna cancel this. Now, you can create your own GPO pack using the following processes. So this is how you do it. One, you use SCM to create your SCM baseline. Now, if you guys don't know how to do that, click on the annotation and it will take you to the next video so you guys can see how I created a baseline. Now, two, you want to export the baseline using a GPO backup. Again, click on the annotation if you guys want to see that video. Now, we need to turn the baseline into a GPO pack. This is a simple process. Now, to do this, you want to open an existing GPO pack and copy the following files to your backup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder in here and let's I'm going to give it a cool name. So let's call it BJN. BJN stands for BJ actually BTN, BJ Tech News. And I'm going to give it a dash and I'm going to go it's a Windows Windows 8 uh, I don't know. MDT GPO. Let's go G pack. I don't know. The only reason I'm doing this because I just want to keep everything consistent on the way that it, it the format is in originally. So what you want to do is go into a default one, and you need to pick three files. One of the files you want to do is the GPO pack, which is a Windows script file. You want to do the local poll and you want to do the local security DB so I'm, what I'm going to do is a control C and I'm going to copy these bad boys into my new folder cool so once you do that now you're going to copy your your baseline that you created within SCM into here so I'm going to go into my start go to computers and go into my transfer and open this bad boy up and I'm going to copy all these files in there good to go now, next that you want to do is, again, even though you have these in here, by default, MDT is only going to be pushing these out. It's not going to push this one out. You have to tell your custom setting I right now that you want to push this one out. Okay. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go into your deployment workbench, go into your deployment share node, right click, go to properties, go to rules, and within rules, you want to type in... GPO pack path equals to and the name of the GPO folder that you gave it. So I'm just going to copy and paste and we're going to apply and we're going to press OK. So once you do that, make sure you right click, update your deployment share. Yep, hit next, hit next, and just let it let it update the deployment and then you're good to go. Now on the next video, we're going to test this out. I am actually not going to do a pixie boot. I am actually going to do it a different way. Another another option that you could deploy your images on a network. And that is basically going to your advanced configuration and doing media. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a media. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of how to uh, use the new feature of MDT 2012, which is the GPO packs, how to deploy that stuff locally. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns, please leave them at the bottom of the video. Uh, don't forget to slap that like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.